we got ourselves, ooh, let's go with B3 against the 2188. Recently have a series on this on Patreon. Let's hit pawn here. And let's go with, I believe it's knight a3. Okay, takes. This seems reasonable. We're hitting there. And knight e2 makes sense to me. I want the knight to not be kicked by e4. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go bishop e2. Alright, is he going to give me the b pair? That didn't make a lot of sense. Okay. And now we're starting to get to one of those, it kind of looks like a French positions. So... Let's see if I can't convince him to play b5 by something like this. He goes bishop b4, I'll go c3. And here, I want to take, see if I can trick him. Didn't get it. All right, so now it's just like a French. Pressure, pressure. And let's get that bishop active again. Get all of our pieces on decent squares. Okay, he wants to keep messing around over here, so I'll let him. And that queen is getting painfully close to getting trapped, but I don't like the fact that I just weakened myself so much for no reason. Okay, let's... Just play faster. Okay. And not so worried about the pin, as I've got options. Okay. All right, pawn takes, queen takes, queen a5 check, bishop b4. And I get two rooks, or I get the queen for two rooks. Uh, probably not the best way to go. Let's go, if he goes queen a5 check, I'll go queen c3. And he's messed up his pawn structure to get to me, but I don't know how good it was. Queen takes, king takes, knight d5, check. Yeah, it's looking kind of drawish. Let's see if I can't try to finesse here. Didn't want his rooks to double up, so that seemed like a good move to kind of force his hand a bit. And my king is in a better position. Okay, rook a5. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Let's go with that. Because this is draw, but uh, I guess we can try to flag him here. That's probably the only way to try to win this at this point, objectively. If he goes bishop e6, I'll go g5. And if he goes that way. Keep an eye on key squares, and now we'll try to run the deep pawn. My king has legs. Mm -mm -mm. 
Stay on the dark squares when you're running too. No. Check me so I can get better. Speed. Pickle tickle on the B. That's what we wanted. And you can get away with that when your opponent only has fractions of a second. Okay. So, let's look at this one. And where did I mess up this opening? Bishop d6, knight a3. And I analyzed bishop e2, I believe. Because the idea is if they do something like this. You can still go knight c4, and then you have these French-like positions, and you kept your good bishop. And that, that looks good. Okay, so I took, though, which has been played quite a lot. Knight e2 was right. f3 was correct. And... Castle on opposite sides, which I was trying to avoid, which was why I played it the way I did with h3 to see what he would do. And then I went d4, intentionally keeping my king in the middle because I didn't want him to go long and get in that type of situation. So a4 was good. And again, I trade down prematurely here. a5 is a nice move restricting the pawn structure. Definitely could have should have seen that. Um, bishop a3, and I started messing around with his queen, but I gave away much of my advantage here. Queen h4 is good, restricts the pawns, and he should be playing on this side of the board. When he turns his attention to the other side, yeah, I'm just busted here. D takes c4, queen takes c4, queen h4, and he's hitting on f2, and I've got too many weaknesses. He let me bail out into this ending, which... It's objectively equal. And he let me get this past D pawn, which he had to worry about. But more than anything, time was a factor for my opponent. And it's blitz. It is part of the game. I have no trouble or no problem whatsoever with winning a drawn position by flagging an opponent. And I think that that should be an unwritten rule in blitz that, uh, that's just part of the game, guys.